You ain't fuck with me when I wasn't this fly Now I'm on top and now I'm riding sky high Good morning, motherfuckers <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning Good morning mm. So, it's the next day It's the next day It's the next day I told y'all, I told y'all I was only giving myself 24, 24 hours to be in my feelings. <laughs> y'all, I've been a little depressed today. I ain't even gonna hold you. I've been hella depressed today. Do I know why? No. Do I know how, how to control it? No. But I've been super depressed today. I've been in the house. I did not go to the gym. I did not go to the gym today. I've been in the house just lounging around watching basketball wise from the very first season. Watching basketball wise from the first season. I've um, been trying to fold clothes all day. I really just want to lay down and go to bed. Um, I've just been really depressed today. My son has, um, my kids been stressing me out. My kids have been stressing me out. <laughs> and today I actually cried about it. Like today I actually cried about it. Because my son, I'm trying this gentle parenting thing y'all. And it's like, you know, it's different. And my son does this thing to where when he doesn't get his way, he mopes and pouts and all the other stuff. So it really gets under my ski. And today I just couldn't take it no more. Today I really just could not take it no more to the point where I had a breakdown. Like I literally had a breakdown because, sir, this is hard. Being a single parent, well, being the sole proprietor, being the sole proprietor, being the sole provider parent because <laughs> I want to say proprietor like priority but I don't know if that's really a word but being the sole parent of a teenager and a toddler of a preteen and a toddler it is very stressful it is very stressful and I try to get their dads to understand or them to realize, like, y'all only get them Saturday and Sunday. I have them Monday through Friday with no breaks, no in-betweens. Like, yes, you know, I have help at home when he gets off of work, but it's only so much to do at six, seven o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Dinner is already made. Homework is already done. You know, we done did all the hard part. So it's like, you know, yeah, I get that rest part, but it's hard. It's hard. And this is my son's first year in school. So, you know, once you have a kid and this is their first year in school, like, they have a routine now like you know what i'm saying like you have to have them at a certain routine you have to have them up at a certain time you have to have them ready at a certain time and it's hard to get him back regular to a regular scheduled program to the routine that we work so hard on when you go over to your dad's and you know you can stay up to 12 o'clock or you can stay up till one o'clock or you know when you say you're not tired they you know somebody be like okay you can stay up an extra hour i'm not that bedtime is bedtime mm -hmm. go to sleep when i say eat what i say wear when i say he's not that guy <laughs> And it's it's hard. And then, like, you know, raising a preteen girl, it's really difficult, too, because I know what I was doing at 11, and she trying to do the same thing that I was doing. So it's like, you can't play a player, player. You can't play a player. You trying to slick a cut of oil. Who do you think you fooling? 
Like, the, the shit that you doing, I done did. You know what I'm saying? I be listening to, like, when I tell her that, I be like, yeah, my mama done told me this shit. But it's true. Like, bro, you cannot outplay me because everything that you doing, I done tried to do. I done did successfully. But you will not. <laughs> so, it's it's hard. It's hard. Parenting is difficult. And then parenting young is even more difficult. So it's it's a it's an ongoing struggle, it's an ongoing battle. It I'm trying to not let it trigger me because when I get depressed, y'all, I can stay depressed for weeks, I can stay depressed for months, and just let the time go past and not even notice it. And I'm only giving myself 24 hours. I'm giving myself 24 hours to sit in this shit. And then tomorrow, I'm right back to the regular schedule program. Like, I'm not going to let depression take over this year like it did last year. Because depression really took over my life last year. Really, really took over my life last year. And I'm not letting it do it again. So, I'm going to sit in my shit for 24 hours. I'm going to sit in my shit. I'm going to deal with what I got to deal with. And tomorrow, I'm going to be just fine. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace out. <laughs> I told y'all I was going to give myself 24, 24 to get in my feelings. And then back to the regular schedule program. So right now, I just dropped my kids off at school. And now I'm headed to the Gap Dang Gym. Do my hour in the gymnasium. And then tonight, tonight we're going to be making something. We're going to be cooking something. We're going to be cooking something. I don't know. But I have about... Shaking and breaking. I had bought some um, I had bought some uh crawfish, some crawfish tails from Walmart. Cause like y'all know, I'm a pesky now. <laughs> I know y'all sick of me seeing the shit. I know y'all sick of me seeing it, but as y'all know, your girl is a pesky, a pescatarian, and um. You know, I'm slowly trying to make it over to the vegan stage. I've been eating some vegan meat. And I've been eating all vegan cheese and all, you know, all vegan what would be dairy products. But the other day, y'all know my mishap with that turkey. Child. Y'all, so I don't know if it's from the... Okay, so he's going to love update with the pliers, right? With the pliers. I've been shitting black. I don't know if it's from the Papayas or down the Papayas, but I've been shitting black. Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> but, I mean, I've been shitting. I've been shitting. But, yeah, today I want to make some crawfish Alfredo. Some vegan crawfish Alfredo. Well, I won't say that it's vegan because I could not find vegan because I needed heavy whipping cream, but I couldn't find the vegan heavy heavy whipping cream. So it's not technically vegan because I have to use heavy whipping cream, which gonna fuck my stomach up. Child. But I got all vegan cheese. I got all vegan cheese, so we gonna eat that. Do y'all, okay, so for y'all that smoke, right? Because maybe a lot of y'all don't, but for y'all that smoke and work out, do y'all smoke before or after? I am not a skilled girl. 
I do not like to get on the scale because the scale will send you off every single freaking time. The scale will send you off every time. Legit. Like, if you go back with the scale saying, it's gonna hurt your feelings every single time. Period. I don't go back to the scale. I go back how my clothes fit and how I feel. Period. Because, you know, the last time I got on the scale, it said I was still on that. The other day, that when I got on skill set, I was 13. But I can fit, I can fit into a small and medium legging. At first, I was a large, extra large. Now I can fit into a well, I ain't gonna say small. I'm stretching. But I can fit into a medium, medium legging now. So it's like I'm not the skill is skill. The skill is not skill. So. But I've been losing inches, but I ain't been losing pounds. So I done lost something. But muscle, I know I've been gaining muscle because I've been lifting weights. And muscle is muscle weighs more than fat. So I'm gaining muscle, but I know I'm losing fat. And if I'm not losing fat, my fat is turning into muscle. Can't nobody convince me that I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm just simple. Y'all, I found these. Um, I found these sausages, these vegan sausages that taste just like freaking Bob Evans. Just like freaking Bob Evans sausages. I found some vegan ones. Beyond me, vegan sausages taste so freaking good, y'all. I'm gonna go home and show y'all which ones I got. Ugh. Worth every dollar. Worth every dollar. Well, I ain't gonna say they worth every dollar. Cause they ain't a little expensive, and you, it, it, ain't, it ain't matching up. But I see y'all later. I see y'all when I uh, leave here. Yeah. Okay, y'all. So I'm sitting at the gym, right? And I want to try something different. I want to step out my comfort zone. <laughs> Like I was I want to step out of my comfort zone, y'all, and do something I never did before because I always got a shirt on or something like covering me. So I've been wearing like this little sports bra, and I'm noticing that I lost like a few inches. So this tight ass shirt I got on, goddamn. Um, so I'm always seeing the women working out in sports bras. And I'm like, oh, I want to try that one day. And today, I think I want to try it. I'm scared. It's cold. I don't know how women do it, so I said I want to try it. But they be looking so confident and know what the hell they do when they got on sports bars and shit. So I don't know what it's like. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh shit. Of course I'm always trying to hold still, but I always see those women right there. Like and I think they be on TikTok and they be having their sports bras on. And they be working it off.
just did these just like a little, you know, I'm gonna do my waist thing. You know what I mean? All right, let's get it packed. Let's get it packed. So my goddamn AirPods is dead in my AirPod case. So I just asked them at the front office if they can, if they can charge them at the front desk. Like I can at least stretch. I can at least stretch. All right, here we go. Day. <laughs> I've been sitting around all day. I am so tired, y'all. I'm so tired. But I've been sitting around and I had some boiled eggs earlier and I want a snack. I wanted a cookie so bad. I was gonna eat a cookie so bad. But no, we're not going to do that. So what I said I'm gonna do is is make me a smoothie. Uh I had two boiled eggs earlier, but that was a like eight o'clock it's now 10 o'clock i'm hungry so i'm gonna make a little snack smoothie and i'm gonna show y'all what i use real simple real easy real straight to the point you only gonna need three ingredients three four ingredients four ingredients depending on what you like me, I'm gonna use four. So you're just gonna need like three of the ingredients. You're gonna need some oat milk or almond milk, whichever one. I get some oat milk from. I get oat milk from Aldi. Um, some almond butter, a banana, and some berries. I'm gonna use um a berry mix blend. I'm gonna use mixed berries, but. Some people use strawberries, some people use other things, but I just don't have strawberries, so I'm gonna use this. And you're gonna need some protein powder. This is uh, the Herbalife protein powder that I use. I'm gonna link it down below. This is the vanilla flavor. I'm gonna link it down below where I get mine from, and y'all can order from there. But you can use any type of protein powder that you wanna use. I just use the Herbalife because I like it. Sure, this is what we gonna do. Are we just gonna put about a cup full of berries. Oh, shit. I'm trying to. So, about this much 
know about. Ah! And I could use a stuff or something. All right, about this much of berries. Y'all can see that. We're gonna do a whole banana. This much. Here we go. Take one tablespoon. Take two tablespoon. Dump that shit in there. Dump that shit in there. some chia seeds and man just to be fancy you don't need to but i want to be fancy <laughs> for no reason